Hello, valued YouTube subscribers, uh, mom and dad, um, grandma. Uh, anyway, today's vlog is going to be about um, why you shouldn't go diving in Singapore, which probably is not a concern that most of you have today as we're weathering the pandemic and whatnot. It was a spectacular failure, so I want to tell you why you shouldn't go scuba diving in Singapore um, and what that was like, and also give you a little bit of flavor of all of the different cameras I'm using, because uh, it just really occurred to me that I have a pretty large collection of cameras that I'm still using. I'll add some um, subtitles into this video to indicate which camera was being used in case you want to compare some of the footage that I was getting. Huge disclaimer though, uh, not a lot of the footage that I got wound up looking great. Um, so you're about to see why that didn't work out. I'm just headed downtown. Gonna go check out renting uh, underwater housing for our scuba dive trip tomorrow. And I'm gonna rent a Sony 90 millimeter macro lens as well. And I'm gonna rent that one plus an underwater housing to see what kind of scuba diving shots we can get. Now, um, I'm a complete beginner in this area. Um, I know next to nothing about uh, underwater photography. And so this is gonna be a real adventure. Okay, I'm here at the camera rental center. I just rented my dive housing. Look at this thing, oh, so heavy. Oh, it's so heavy. This is the Sony uh, 16 to 35 GM 2.8 on there. And uh, I think it will be less heavy when I go underwater. Right? <laughs> it will weigh nothing because everything will be super light. I'm also going to take this macro lens that I rented. It's a 90 millimeter macro lens. Um, try to get some up close uh, videography. I'm at the dive shop, and um, what's this dive shop called? Friendly Waters. Friendly Waters, yeah. And uh, we're getting a slate so I can do my underwater white balance. Um, and I'm getting a cool little calendar, check that out, free gift. And uh, some stickers, free gift, woo! And this light, it's um, 1200 uh, lumens, is that right? I don't know. Yes, correct. A rechargeable light and uh, there's different settings and some filters, so we'll see how well this works. All right, so I just have a few minutes, a um, few minutes to learn how to use this macro lens before I have to put it into housing and actually test it underwater. Um, so I'm gonna give a couple of practice shots over here. I'm getting ready to try the, uh, the camera. It's a huge, heavy, crazy thing, size of my head. Uh, probably weighs, I don't know, like 10 pounds at least. And I'm getting ready to give it a shot in the pool, see if I can get it going. story short it's it's really hard it's really hard to even use this macro lens even when you're not underwater so we'll see what happens tomorrow we just got aboard the dive boat it's like 7 a.m. so just barely getting light here and um, heading heading out to uh, Pulau Hantu which I guess is just like a little island offshore should be leaving in about 30 minutes going on two dives
Yes. What was what was the diving like? Uh, so we got in the water, followed the line down, and couldn't see anything. Literally anything. So hold up your hand in front of your face, can't see a hand. And so I got to the bottom and pretty much decided I needed to come back up. John lost me, so we had to come back, and here we are debating what to do next. So the visibility was really bad. I'd say it's a couple of inches <laughs> that you can see in front of your face. So we followed the line down. I was the last one in. And by the time I got down to the sea bottom, I decided I probably should come back up because I couldn't see anything. So now we're regrouping and deciding what to do next for our second dive. So after I had that really, really terrible diving experience this weekend, I went to talk to a few friends at school who do a lot of diving here just to see what uh, their experience has been and uh, they all told me that the visibility is definitely a problem. Um, I had never seen anything like that. I, you literally could not see your hand in front of your face. I asked one of my friends from school to describe what his experience in diving in Singapore has been like. Diving in Singapore isn't going to be the best diving that you're going to experience in the region. Uh, so I'll start with some of the bad things first. Um, the biggest thing is that the visibility in Singapore waters is not good at all. Um, on a really fantastic good day, the most that you can expect is one to two meters. So the distance across like a, a, a table. And the reason for that is because of all the shipping uh, in the region. Uh, in particular, Singapore being one of the busiest ports in the world, there's all these tankers coming through every single day that you know really bring up a lot of the silt and sediment from the seafloor. So visibility is not very good. So there is an incredible amount of biodiversity here in Singapore, except it's kind of hard to see it because of all the, the stuff floating around. 